This is called a uh, hinges and conduit station. They started running the wiring and that sort of thing. Uh, fuel lines, brake lines, and all that, that sort of thing. This is also where uh, the first stages are for the new Fiki installations for the, the new ice protection. With the new Fiki wing, there were some additional things that were added. There's an additional reservoir tank. Also, the filler necks have gotten larger to add to the volume of fluid that is allowed. Wire harnesses have changed. There's some sensors, level sensors, of how much fluid is in the tanks themselves has changed. Overall size of the panels, wicking area, that sort of thing. So after this, this uh, wing will go to the close station, and they'll close up the wing. It'll go through a trim and drill station, then it'll go and have its ice panels bonded on the leading edge. Here we are at the uh, horizontal bonding station. Um, first we have the torque box bond, and uh, from there it moves over to the close, which we run the ice protection lines. And then from there, it has to get post cured. Then it comes back in our area. What we do is we go ahead and put the ice panels on. The panels are pretty much the same as the previous model panels. What we do is the same procedure. It's just a bigger surface area where the glycol comes out. And we have an extra line to run for the Fiki. It's for the elevator tip panel. It's a different routing installation, so therefore uh, we have to go through some spars with the line versus the old way we didn't have to. As far as the panel install itself, the hose is bigger diameter, so what that means is it takes a little bit more to maneuver. Otherwise, the installation is really no different from the previous time. After we're done installing the tubing onto the torque box, what we do is run it to the closed fixture, and that takes the two skids, the upper and the lower, and closes it together onto the torque box. Uh, with the extra lines in there, we have to be cautious and make sure no adhesive gets in the way and um, nothing gets kinked when we close it up. So there's a little bit more inspection process, but otherwise it's the same closing procedure. Okay, we are cleared for our approach. Have our Garmin GPS set up to fly the LPV. And look, here comes the glide path. And you're probably wondering how we can intercept a glide path when there's no ILS on the field. Well, hey, that's the beauty of WASP GPS. No ILS, no localizer, no problem. WASP gives us full vertical guidance even without ground-based navigation. Okay, next you're probably wondering why there's spit all over your side of the windshield. The station we're currently at is the dorsal fairing station. In this station, the uh, technicians install the caps bucket, the caps covers, and the dorsal to the fuselage. The dorsal itself is a secondary bonding operation that occurs after the final trim and drill. Once the initial cure is complete and the operations are done, the fuselage goes into a post cure for final cure for strength of the adhesive. From there it goes into the ice protection station. In that station the technician will bond the ice panel on to the vertical. It is a offset that the panel bonds into for better airflow as well as aesthetic reasons. Now we're at the station where the technicians bond the ice panels to the left hand and right hand elevator tips for the horizontal. In this process, the technicians will prep them, attach the ice lines, and then bond them onto the assemblies. From here, the ice panels will come out of the tools, have final rivets installed, and then go to the body shop for final body work. Hi, this is the leading edge bond station. This is where we bond on the titanium panel for the ice protection for the Fiki system. Uh, this is the tooling that we have. It's uh, certified. It's very important that we get the degree of angle correct on the wing itself. It's very repeatable. It's certified through PA. It's put in this position. It stays in there. It's cured out in this position, and this is what locates the panel on. This is the ice panel that wicks out the, the glycol system for the ice protection itself. It's made out of titanium. It's laser welded. It's laser drilled has a weeping system on the wing. It's very important for flight characteristics. There's uh, pumps and it wicks itself out during flight. Cirrus Design's Vision SJ50 single engine personal jet offers exceptional fuel efficiency, flexible seating for up to seven, advanced avionics, and all the Cirrus safety features you expect, including the Cirrus airframe parachute system. With its V-tail design, the Cirrus Vision is technologically advanced yet engineered to be simple to fly, to allow owner pilots more lifestyle pursuits than any other personal aircraft. Learn more about the Vision SJ50 at CirrusDesign.com. 
Well, right now we're in mid-assembly. Uh, right here is a console install. Uh, we do a little bit of the uh, installation of the ice lines and the buildup of the ice lines. Um, stationed down uh, next to it is called HVAC. Uh, we'll be installing all of the ice lines in the belly and the aft of, aft of the wing, the ice pumps, the filters, and then running them to the wing once a wing gets installed further down the line and then they also go up to the vertical uh, for the uh, ice panels up there. The new Fiki is uh, it's basically double everything. Uh, ice pumps, uh, filters, there's more places that the glycol has to go to up on the dorsal, out to the wingtips of the horizontal and then there's just bigger orifices along the panels to get more fluid out to the wings and to get more fluid onto the wings and over the aircraft so it doesn't ice up. And here we've got the ice pump and one of the filters, inline filter, and it goes back to a, a proportioning unit or up to a proportioning unit um, which uh, splits it up um, to go to the wing, to the, to the spinner. With the old system uh, we had one pump and one filter. With the new Fiki system uh, we've got two filters and two pumps uh, on each aircraft uh, that head to a proportioning unit that split it up to go to the different places on the aircraft. Okay, this is the, the, the Fiki purging station and this is essentially the last step that we do before we, we start flying the airplane and what we do to purge this system is we individually connect a purging cart to each panel we pump 60 psi pressure in there to make sure all of the panels are weeping fully with uh, TKS fluid and then what we do is we connect the system back together and run it again to make sure we have absolutely zero air in the system. And once we do that, we know we have a good quality system here and everything is working correctly. And then we can start flying the airplane.